We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. Right, we're back in the bathroom and I'm going to have a look at this cupboard door today. Uh, there's a few little jobs to do to prepare it for paint. Uh, first of all, it doesn't close very well, it's not lined up, uh, so I need to shave a bit off the side. Uh, these cheap plastic door protectors, they've got to go, they're rubbish, they're horrible. Um, we're going to, there's no handle on here, so we currently have to open it with a key. Um, by holding the key, so that's no good. But what we do have, excuse me, is these. They're for, actually for like a chest of drawers, the drawer knobs, but they're really um, ornate. We bought these a long time ago back in Britain, not really having any purpose for them, but I, I seem to remember they're on special offer or clearance or something like that. So um, I'm going to put a little handle on here and I'll just move in. I don't know whether you'll see them. They're like little goldfish or koi carp. Um, so they'll go on there. So I'm going to make a hole and put those on there. Where these are fitted, I'll have to um, fill those. Um, I've just got to go around every edge. It doesn't fit very well, really. There's a bigger gap at the top here than at the bottom. Whether I can put a couple of washers in these hinges just to lift it. Uh, but that's not very straight either. So I've got a little bit of work to do. What we're basically going to, going to do here, uh, as, far as, <laughs> as far as I know, uh, we're going to paint this the pale blue, uh, which is the same as the screen here. Um, in here, it's going to be the darker blue, which is the wall blue that we painted the other day. And the surround as well, the dark blue. Um, and Susie's talking about just putting a little bit of a gold touch on the inside of this frame, just a real thin strip, just to show it off. And of course, it'll go well with these uh, with this handle that we'll put on. So that's the task for today. Um, sorting out this for paint. Um, we should get it painted uh, today and tomorrow. There's a bit of. Um, Filler being put here, which doesn't look very good, it's cracked and moved. There you are, it's coming out. So I might um, put some new filler down there, or I might put a wooden strip over it. That would probably be the sensible thing to do. So a little bit of work, and that's what I'm going to do. So first things first, uh, measure up and mark some lines, and then we'll go from there. The frame isn't actually level. And that's out probably nearly a centimetre. So the door is actually level. So the door is level, but the frame isn't. Now I'm not going to mess around with the frame. And looking at it here, the frame looks fine. So I'm going to have to adjust, adjust the door to the frame really. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> there you go. in pocket so it doesn't get lost first things first 
I'll have to um, mark this identically on the, un the other side as well, otherwise I could end up going at an angle when I'm planing. Sides are a good neat edge. Uh, there's a gap either side, so that's good. At uh, the top, there's this gap, but I can't, I'm afraid, find any washers that are going to help raise it. Not that it will fit over the fitting. So, I'm going to take this little piece of wood and I'm going to fit it to the top, glue it, and nail it to the top. And that will just close that gap nicely. So, I'm happy with that. Now you might remember what three weeks ago I drilled into these stumps after chopping the trees down and then I filled them with a solution of vinegar and salt and interesting now three weeks later these suckers and whatever growing off the trunk um, they're definitely showing signs of dying um, these here all these here they're not looking too good so I'm assuming that's to do with this rather than autumn. And the reason I think that is this is part of that tree. And these that are still attached to this log, they're faring much better. So they're living off the residual moisture off this log at the moment. But they are starting to struggle now. But these have deteriorated much more than those, which haven't got as much water. So I think that's a promising sign that this is actually um, dying and that, that vinegar and salt solution is working but I'll keep my eye on it and I'll let you know how we get on they're not happy <laughs> okay so I hung the door back overnight and I wanted to just check that it's uh, the gaps are okay it seems all right to me so here we are next morning so ready for paint um, it's all done, it's all prepped, so ready to paint. Okay, best laid plans. <laughs> it's just started raining, so um, I've just brought it in the door of the workshop. I don't normally film in here because it's a bit dark in here, if I'm honest. Um, we haven't got any electric in this particular barn, so um, I tried to do everything outside, but uh, yeah, that's alright. We'll get it near the door. It's only a little bit of drizzle, but it is forecast later to be wet, so. Right.
had two coats of the pale blue and I think what I'll do is I'll let it dry and then um, I'll take it upstairs and hang it and then I can do all the rest whilst the door's hanging and that might be easier. I haven't painted underneath or what will be the inside of the door. Again, that will be easier once it's hanging. So I'll give that a uh, couple of hours and then uh, get it upstairs, see how it looks in the better light. I may need a third coat on there, uh, but it doesn't take long. So that's the next job. Wait. <laughs> Well, I suppose I might as well show you whilst I'm in here. Uh, this is barn number two that we know of. And as you can see from the distance there, this used to be a stable. And it would have been for horses because those are quite high up, those uh, hay feeders. And there's a big long bench that works its way all the way along the width. Uh, this here. Uh, obviously there's lots and lots of wood there. There was lots of wood in here when I got here so I just piled it up in there just to get it out of the way. But uh, you can see there's uh, an old unit here. There's a little table there and tucked in behind the table. You probably can't see it, it's too dark. But it's a little very tiny wood stove. Um, and then as we work our way around this uh, unit in the corner, it's got mesh on, so this was probably for keeping things fresh and keeping the insects out, maybe fromage, cheese. And under this pile, um, there's a desk, and I haven't had a chance to even have a look at it, see if it's any good or a nice enough desk or not. Um, but it's a really nice area. Um, let me just have a look here. Sorry, glare of the window. So I mean, it's a really big, nice area. So this is going to be the workshop. It'll have all my tools. It'll have garden stuff in here. Uh, but it's finding time to sort it out, really. <laughs> it's just a mess at the moment. Um, so, yeah, but that's something for the long term. I do like these little windows up the top here. There's one there and then one there. Uh, but they've put a wall in between which sort of uh, so that window there up in the top there that's sh that's shared by the next barn and uh, there's a chain here so I don't know what they used to hang from here maybe hay don't know for the horses I don't know there's uh, there's all sorts of hooks up on there there's one up there one over there but anyway, this is barn number two. While Rolls is preparing the cupboard door, I'm going to paint these gold. Um, they've been prepped, sort of lightly sanded, so I'm going to get on with that now. Right, I've just joined Susie up here, uh, doing a grand job with the gold. Uh, the door is on, as you can see, obviously. Um, the actual doors had two coats of the pale blue, but I think I'm going to go for a third. And the frame has had one coat, so that's definitely going to need two, probably a third. So I'll get on and put another coat of that on, and then hopefully we'll get this blue on today, this darker blue.
of what this is going to look like. I painted the gold wood around the window here. So I think it goes quite well with this. Picks out the gold. Um, we've still got the radiator to paint and um, behind the radiator. Rolls has nearly finished the cupboard. So Rolls has been painting this today. A bit more touching up to do and some gold to go on here. Plus the fish, goldfish handle. Um, yeah, and that's it. I just wanted to show you quickly what I was doing yesterday. Weeding the raised um, vegetable patch. Uh, we didn't, as we said in the previous video, we didn't get much done this year, but we have got some beetroot, carrots, radishes, and somebody's been digging up the carrots and eating them again, not mentioning any names. And I planted a load of parsnips and some more carrots a um, month or so ago, which they come up, but I've been splitting them up. <coughs> Yesterday I was splitting them up because there's too many all together. These are our tomatoes. They, everything seems really late this year. Um, these have all self-seeded themselves. I've got about 30, I think, so I'll put a few more down the ends there. And I've planted some of the parsnips here to split them up, but I still need to dig over these remaining beds, get rid of the weeds and transplant and plant some more stuff for the winter. So it didn't go according to plan today because it rained, so I didn't get anything done. I hope you've enjoyed our video today. Uh, we, it doesn't seem like we've got a lot done, but it's quite fiddly, yeah, that's all these a... little bits and pieces. Take, yeah. It just takes a while. That cabinet, uh, the cupboard doors, um, yeah, quite fiddly really. Uh, but anyway, it's looking good. Yeah. You're happy with that. Yeah. So it's taken a bit longer than I thought, but yeah. I haven't really stopped on it. Well, but. you had to take the door off and paint it a few times. Yeah, so. yeah, I knew that. But anyway, it's looking good. It's coming mm. on slowly, but surely. <laughs> and that little bit of gold just yeah. goes well with the sconces in the mirror, actually. It's a darker gold. Mm. It's not a bling gold. Um, it works really well, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, sorry about my hair, I've just washed it. Um, we'd like to welcome our new patrons, Michelle Me, I don't know if that's the surname or just me, um, and Doug and Kathleen. So, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. So, glad to have you on board. And I know you've been clicking like on some of the patron stuff, so you've already uh, had a look at that stuff, so that's good. More to come. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we'd like to say thank you to Grandma Sharon, Brian and Kathy, and Joni for buying us coffees again. Yeah, it's really we, kind of you. It is very, very kind. We've got a bit yeah. of a list because we didn't do any thank yous on Wednesday. We were a bit hurried on Wednesday, so we've got some others as well. Um, there's Tanya from Australia joining us all the way from Australia. Hello, Tanya. And then there's Peter and Anne. And the reason I hesitated at Anne is because. Um, Peter comments a lot on our um, um, episodes, uh, but it was signed by Anne uh, once, so I think it's Peter and Anne. But if I've got that wrong, I do apologise. And, uh, and there's a couple of others who bought some coffees who uh, want to remain anonymous, uh, but one of them is a lady that uh, comments regularly uh, from Spain, so you'll know who you are. So thank you to all of you. It's yeah, really, really you. kind. And, and it helps... It, us keep our channel going and restoring this place. Yeah, and it just makes us a bit more positive about everything. Yeah. So thank you, you're, you're very kind. And we hope you all enjoyed this one. So, and uh, more to come on Wednesday. And um, and if you could uh, click subscribe, I know we could keep going on about it, but if you could, it would really help us. And press the notification bell so you never miss a, an episode. And like. And definitely press um, like. It helps us, it doesn't cost anything, but it helps no. us. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. If you're new to YouTube, it's free. All you do is sign up for it and then um, you get notified whenever one of our special episodes comes out. So thank like you that. for watching and we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday it is. Bye. Bye.